No. Wrong. Uh, who could have killed Tekko inside the cage at any time? I don't get you. You're really narrow-minded for a detective. Oh, no! No. Wait, the they they are referring to... A gadget from Mew? No. Who could have killed Tekko inside the cage at any time? What? Who could have killed Tekko inside the cage at any time? Is it a dead person? You're not referring to yourself. Okay, cool. Oh no! Her saying I'm narrow-minded when I'm picking alive people is what's getting me interested. Oh no! Unless we... We're not going on the Kyo route, are we? I... No. Oh, no! Oh, no! Why is my brain not working? Brain! Ganta is the only alive person I haven't picked. No. So she is referring to a dead. I was wrong. Damn it. It wouldn't be Mew and her gadgets. Wait, just... I've Okay, I picked Maki, I picked Kyo, I picked Samugi, I picked Gonta, I picked Himiko, I picked Karekia, Arako Kichi, Ekibo, and Mew. Are we tired? We are I was gonna say, I'm like, this is the only other route. I believe Maki is referring to Tenko herself. But why? Yeah? What did you say? But why? Tenko is the culprit? She committed suicide. But why? T suicide? If she committed suicide, it would explain a lot of things we couldn't figure out. She volunteered to be in the cage and then stabbed herself during the seance. It wouldn't matter how dark the room was. Right. But the sickle she was stabbed with was under the floor, right? If Tenko had stabbed herself, wouldn't the sickle still be inside the cave? No, because the floorboard's loose. Uh, oh my god. Mew actually said something smart. <laughs> <laughs> but not really. Perhaps that explains why the floorboard was removed. After stabbing herself with the sickle, she threw it underneath the floor. So she took off the floorboard to get rid of the sickle? Yes, that makes sense to Gonta. Well, it doesn't make sense to me. I, 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 see, I'm, I, I, I love that I'm standing by Himiko this, like, in this trial. Because last trial, Himiko was the... Bruh, what's going on? But this trial, I'm like, Himiko, go for it, queen. Like, it's a completely different, like, vibe with Himiko this trial. It's very funny. There's no reason for Tenko to commit suicide. That's right. Unless, unless she killed Angie. And if she killed Angie and then murdered herself, that's the only thing I can think of. Maybe I wasn't too far off with the theory I had earlier. You know, about Tenko killing Angie. That's, yeah. Um, that's my only logical thought process right now right, as well. Is, if Tenko killed Angie, she killed herself to try and, like, make it a moot point. But, that's weird. That would be, that's just, just, 
it just feels untenkle like I guess is the best way to put it. It just doesn't feel like something Tenko would do. Because Tenko and Angie were fighting for your attention, right? Hey Angie, where did you brainwash Himiko? Tenko's pent up frustration led her to commit such an atrocity. Her conscience couldn't handle it anymore. So she decided to end her own life. That's a crazy headcanon, but I don't think it's true. But if she was going to kill herself, why do it during the seance? Because nobody can see her at that point. She wanted to hide the truth of her suicide. Really? Why? There could only be one reason to hide it in the killing game, right? It's to take us down with her. That wouldn't be true. Take us down? I doubt that. She wanted us to pick the wrong answer during the class trial. So she could bring us all down. She wanted us to die with her. No. Okay, well, she probably just wanted Himiko to die with her. But still. But what are you saying? Tanko wasn't like that. No, Tanko was not like that. I agree. He told me. Keep your chin up and live life facing forward. Survive with me and everyone else. Exactly. Like, why would she say well, that? That was just a lie. I doubt it. A lie? Why would Tenko lie to Himiko like that, though? That wouldn't make Wait, sense. We should believe Tenko's last words. I'm with Gonta and Himiko here. The true terror of class trials is that you shouldn't believe everything said. That's also true. Good counter argument. Tenko, you said that Tenko would never do anything like that. But how can you be so sure? Did you guys actually know each other? People keep all sorts of secrets. Like Maki. She hid the fact that she's a cold-blooded killer. Is it wise of us to trust other people wholeheartedly in this kind of situation? Jeez, you're such a naive dude. <laughs> Oh, Kaido. We're all just people, you know? Of course we're gonna have some secrets. What matters is whether there's any malice behind them. Yes. People can lie about how malicious their hidden secrets really are. Well, duh. It's impossible to know for sure what others are thinking. That's why it all comes down to whether or not you believe in yourself. Yep. If you get betrayed, it's not their fault. It's your fault for believing in them. Oh, 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 oh! That's why I believed in Maki Roll because I wanted to believe in her. That that's a stinger! Holy shit! Just because you're acting all cool doesn't mean you get to skip training. <laughs> Good call out. Hey, come on! Don't you think you're being a little too strict? No. Well, we come from different backgrounds. So for now, let's agree to disagree. Hey, I'm okay with that, Kokichi. No one's ever called me naive before. And from Kaito? Seriously? Whether or not I believe, my heart can't reach Tinko anymore. But I want to believe in her. She wouldn't commit suicide. She wouldn't try to take us down. I agree with that, Himiko. That's what I want to believe. Me too. Gonta, no can believe Tenko commits suicide. But if Tenko did commit suicide, that would answer all of our questions. Which is the unfortunate part about that. But I'm really hoping and believing in Tenko as well. If you insist we believe in Tenko, then provide a reason to do so. A proper reason. All right. I'll give uh, you a reason. Is there a reason? Maki. Yes, there is. Will you trust me, Maki? If it turns out I'm wrong, you can blame me all you like. But for now, I need you to trust in my detective work. I don't believe Tenko would kill herself because of what she said. 
Okay, everyone. I'll see you guys after the seance. Exactly. She said, see you guys after. I doubt she had a sudden change of heart. Just because we don't know how she was killed does not mean that it was a suicide. We sh should not be satisfied with that answer. And if we keep thinking, we will find the truth. And that means we have to believe in Tenko. I will make them all believe. Non-stop debate. Okay. So is this now we talk about Katenko's mask? Her plan was to take us down with her. No. So she hid her true intentions. Tenko's not that kind of person. I agree, Himiko. But if Tenko did commit suicide, it would explain how she died during the seance. She could have secretly brought the sickle and then stabbed herself with it. No, she couldn't Finally, do that. Finally, with the last of her strength. Oh, shoot. Okay. She would have been able to throw the sickle away in time, no? That is, I suppose, unless her death was instant, which was it wasn't. Wrong. Shoot. We already know that. Ah! So far, suicide seems to be the best expert. Tanko's last moments. It was not enough to kill her immediately. We know that. Okay. Donation. Her plan was to take us down with her. So she hid her true intentions. But if Tenko did commit suicide, it would explain how she died during the seance. She could have secretly brought the sickle and then stabbed herself with it. Finally, with the last of her strength, she threw the sickle underneath the floor. All the pieces fit. Everyone thinks that Tenko committed suicide, but... Only because they're latching on to the easiest answer. To get out of this, I need to make them think the suicide theory wouldn't work. Oh, wait, we might have to lie. So far, suicide seems to be the best explanation. Her plan was to take us down with her. I forgot how to do so it. So she hid her true intentions. Oh! Aha! Suicide, it would explain how she died during the seance. She could have secretly brought the sickle and then stabbed herself with it. Finally, with the last of her strength, she threw the sickle underneath the floor. <laughs> oh, lying about her cause of death feels wrong, but it's so true. Couldn't have thrown the sickle under the oh, I thought about that at the last moment. I was like, wait a minute. We could lie here. Wait, oh God. Oh, no, 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 no. Because she died instantly. Oh! Instantly. The thing is, is Maki knows this is a lie. Her death might not have been an instant, but she couldn't have gone far before she bled out. I'm certain of it. My investigation determined that she died instantly. What's your opinion, Maki? I'd like to hear from someone who specializes in murder. Oh god, she's gonna is she gonna lie for us? Maki. You're right. I completely forgot about that important. She's thing. lying for us! Oh my god. Maki, you Tenko died instantly. Maki's lying with us! Oh my god. I cannot you you freaking goddess! As an assassin, I specialize in killing my targets swiftly. I have no doubt that Tenko was killed immediately. <laughs> Words of a true killer. Pretty sure we can believe everything she said. She's looking at us with death glares, though, because she knows we just lied and that she had to lie as well. She's not. She's not a fan of that. Thank you, Maki. How could you forget that Maki roll? You better apologize to Shuichi. Excuse me? It's okay, Kaito, really. No apology necessary. Anyway, Tanko died so suddenly that she couldn't have gotten rid of the sickle. Knowing that, 
The theory that she killed herself just doesn't fit, correct? Just like I thought. Tenko wouldn't commit suicide. Thank goodness, Himiko. Which means someone definitely killed Tenko during the seance. Her suicide was considered because we could not determine how she was killed. No! There must have been a way! We're gonna figure it out! Did any of the participants witness anything peculiar during the seance? If you know something, please speak up. It could be the key to solving this mystery. Not a bad idea. We should remember what happened at the seance. Let's try and remember. I'm sure there's something. I need to find some kind of clue that will help us solve this mystery. Ah, uh, sound? We have, it's probably gonna have to- we have to agree with something. Sound during the seance. There it is. Okay, cool. Did anything seem out of the ordinary during the seance? Yes, the sound. There is something that bothers me. The fact that the seance failed. What well, duh. The ritual was perfect, and yet it failed. It was not perfect. Really it was not perfect, Kyo. Now that I think about it, while we were all singing the song, I heard something fall. Oh. No! I missed! I'm more concerned about how dark it got in there. That's what I want to agree with. I, I want to agree with Himiko for sure. I heard something. I agree. Himiko, you think that something fell because of that sound you heard, right? Oh, they have a different sound effect now. It sounded like something heavy fell down and hit the floor really hard. What could have fallen down? That's the question. Oh, there wasn't anything on the ceiling that could have fallen down, right? Am I wrong? I thought something fell. Kimiko, be confident. The sound was pretty loud. It did seem like something hit the floorboards. Hmm, a loud sound. Like something hitting the floorboards? Maybe that sound had something to do with the other thing that happened in the dark. The other thing that happened in the dark. And there's nothing to do with the sound during the seance. Or that has nothing to do with the sound. Nobody's going to believe you anymore if you keep saying random things. I know, I'm fair. Oh, no. You're giving me fair points. Okay. No, that's not during the seance either. Me, what am I doing? I was wrong. The other thing that happened during the dark. wrong gosh I am just struggling this is it ow oh. <laughs> the floorboard okay I got it <laughs> I think the floorboard coming off had something to do with that sound that floorboard came loose at some point during the seance right yeah Floorboard have made such a loud sound, though. Yeah, it could have. It was the sound of an intense impact. If the impact was that intense, then it could have loosened the floorboard. That's true. There would have had been a strong impact to make that sound. 
But what was it? What could it, like, what could it possibly be? All right, then. Let's go with that. We all gotta put our heads together now. More debating. So what made the floorboard come loose? Judging from the sound, there must have been considerable force. Someone who participated in the seance. Maybe that person tore off the floorboard. That wouldn't make such a loud crashing sound. Maybe the wooden statue fell over. It did not. We but know that. that statue was still on top of the cage. Yeah. Culprit hide under floor. Then stood up with such might. No. But we already said there was no one under the floor. Someone must have stomped through the floorboard. A floorboard that comes loose when you step on it is dangerous. God, it's like I'm the only one here who's staying on the ball. You hardly have any experience with balls to say that, Mew. Damn! Don't be stupid. Don't you know me and balls are the best of friends? What would have made a strong enough impact to knock the floorboards loose? If you think about it, everybody's testimonies. If I think about everyone's testimony and combine it with facts. So what made the floorboard come loose? Judging from the sound, there must have been considerable force. Someone who participated in the seance. Maybe that person tore off the floorboard. That wouldn't make such a loud crashing sound. Maybe the wooden statue fell over. But that statue was still on top of the Culprit hide under floor. Then stood up with such might. But we already said there was no under the floor. Someone must have stomped through the floorboard. Ah. Nice. I agree. <laughs> that works. I was like, that's the only thing I can think of, but we'll see. Kokichi is right. The floorboard came loose because someone stomped on it. The floorboards fit perfect. Going to make sure first time we go to empty room. When we first saw the room, yes. But when I looked again during the investigation... One of the cross pieces supporting the floorboards was cut off. After examining the cut, I concluded that it must have been done deliberately. Someone? You mean the culprit, right? Why'd they do that? What did the culprit stand to gain by cutting the cross piece? What did they stand to gain? That's the question. To solve this case, I need to think carefully about the cross piece and the floorboard. Tenko's body was the one at the end of the, or was at the end of one loose floorboard. And the cross piece had been cut, was at the other end of the floorboard. The unsupported part was outside the cage, so it could have been stomped on. Only one of the cross pieces was cut, the other two were intact. One of them was right under Tenko, and the other was in the center, right about where the edge of the cage was. What was the culprit attempting to achieve by stopping on the floorboard? Think. Come on. Think. Hangman's Gambit. Oh god, this is a long one. Okay. Seam? No. Has to be a continent. It is actually hilarious how much I struggle. Ah! Okay.
What other consonants are there? I don't know what other consonants. Oh, I thought I could. I could okay. Oh, seesaw, 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 seesaw. Seesaw. E-S-C-A-P-E. Oh, a fact. I didn't expect a fact to be part of the thing. E-C-T. Okay, I need to find a C now. A seesaw effect. That's right. The floorboard might have been used as a seesaw. Huh? A seesaw? The cross piece at one end of the floorboard had been cut off. The other two cross pieces holding up that board were close to the cage. Meaning, if you were to apply force to the end of the floorboard with no cross piece, The next cross piece would act as a fulcrum to turn the floorboard into a lever. A lever capable of lifting up Tenko's entire body. Her whole body lifted up? Wow! Yeah, that sounds like a seesaw, all right. But why bother lifting Tenko's body? They couldn't have killed Tenko like that, unless they used the sickle. That's exactly it. Using the seesaw trick, it was possible to kill Tenko with a sickle. Huh? How? In order for the culprit to kill Tenko with a seesaw trick, the placement of the sickle is the most important factor. The floorboard seesaw, the cage, and the blood on the white fabric. What conclusions can I draw from this? There's only one place the sickle could have been uh, that is consistent with the evidence. Well, it can't be underneath the floorboard. That's it. Yeah, it has to be on the cage. The sickle was at the top of the iron cage with the blade facing down. The reason we didn't see it was because of the fabric covering the cage. Also, the wooden statue kept the blade in place. It's true that the sickle's handle was thick, which made the statue wobble. But the statue's weight kept it from falling over. Once everything was in place, if you stepped hard enough on the seesaw, Tenko's body would have shot upward and hit the blade on the top of the cage. She was bent over, meaning the sickle's blade would have connected with her neck. Yeah. The six-inch sickle blade wasn't long enough to stab Tenko in her crouch position. But with the floorboard acting as a seesaw, it could compensate for the blade's length. Bringing the victim to the sickle, rather than bringing the sickle to the victim. Wow! That's definitely an unorthodox idea. It's crazy, but it would explain how Tenko got stabbed while she was in the cage. So the sound we heard was the culprit stomping on the floorboard. 
that impact make floorboard come loose. Was it? Was I? Was it actually Keo? Looks like we got ourselves a good old-fashioned seesaw homicide. Wait, what the hell's a seesaw homicide? That's fucking crazy! The craziness is what really makes the killing game fun, you know? They can't get away with murder the normal way, so they gotta think outside the box. Kudos, culprit! You did a great job keeping me entertained. Indeed. Well played, Himiko. Whoa! Yeah? I guess, uh... Mm. <laughs> it was you, wasn't it? The one behind the seesaw homicide. Huh? Why her? Because she's the only one capable of carrying out this plan. The only one? Why is that? Because this seesaw homicide required its location to be prepared beforehand. Tra ah. I'm putting the cross piece beneath the floorboard, you mean? Then the culprit would need to lure their victim into the prepared room. That is why you chose that room for the seance. Is it not, Himiko? We're going back to this idea, and it's crazy. However, which of the three empty rooms shall we use? The middle room. The middle room's always the best for stuff like this. Oh yeah! Himiko was the one who chose the site for the seance! She likely found out about my plans for the seance somehow. You were quite vocal about the seance, Kyo. You even had instructions for it in your lab. Our culprit, Himiko, prepared her seesaw trap ahead of time. Then she waited for me to host the seance and suggested the middle room. She led us all into holding the seance right where she wanted it. Didn't she even pick her corner too? Then she killed Tenko, all according to plan. That's a lie, right? The Himiko did such a thing? In the end, Himiko, who Tenko cherished and loved, tragically killed her. Wait! We don't know that, right? He's wrong, right, Himiko? Himiko would never kill Tenko, right? Kill Tenko? I killed Tenko? Himiko? What's wrong, Himiko? Is it true that Himiko is using the middle room? It was Himiko's idea. Yeah. But does that really mean Himiko killed Tenko? Would something like that really happen? Something so cruel? There's intermission. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. I was like, where's intermission? We're gonna get close. This is this is this feels like intermission time. Woo-wee! Well! In the next episode of Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony, we're going to get to the second half of this trial. I messed up a good grip, but, you know, it was to be kind of anticipated. I, I figured that we were going to have some mistakes uh, lying along the way. Um, I really don't think it's Himiko, but it it is funny that in the end, or in at the end of the day right now, that my two main suspects are the two that are at play because it was uh like i said it was himiko uh after uh, my brain conjured up the wild theory um and then it was Keo, which was the other person that was all high on my mind because he was like just there on in both occasions hopefully it's neither of them and but it probably is going to be one of them last time it was a completely like sidetracked third person randomness i highly doubt they're gonna do it this time but only way to find out is to tune in on the next episode See ya!